Like that, that's all I want. And I know all y'all against me. Him right here, Leonard will be against me. They, they, they with this bitch ass nigga. Leonard a bitch ass nigga too. First can, time, you, you don't disrespect me like that. Man, shut up. You ain't with me. You ain't with me. I'm you with Jesse. I'm with Mayweather Promotions. You with, oh yeah, you ain't with me. Blessed love and blessings up, this man. It's real, real life I'm boxing. Real. This isn't about me. You guys gotta fight. Yeah, I had Do you guys remember this? Do you guys remember this? This is Adrian Broner ripping, ripping Mayweather promotion CEO Leonard Ellerby while he sits shoulder to shoulder with him. He's sitting right the fuck next to him. They want AB. They want AB to go out. They don't want me to. They don't want me to be. They don't want me. AB's ripping him. Tell me if you guys remember that. This was at the press conference for Adrian Broner's last fight against Jesse Vargas. Ripped. Leonard Ella Bean. Now, this is Real Life Boxing. Blessed love and blessings up. Hit the like button and subscribe. Um, around the time of this fight, a lot of people were saying, AB is Mexican food. Al Heyman and them are feeding Adrian Broner to the Mexicans. He's a gatekeeper. He's washed up. I, Coach Fire at Real Life Boxing, I beg to fucking differ. I never stop. Fucking with AB. I've been fucking with AB. Now, me personally, I thought that AB won um, the Jesse Vargas fight. Some people thought a draw. Some people thought Jesse Vargas won. Some people thought Adrian Broner won. I thought Adrian Broner won. Now, a lot of people saying, how is AB getting all these big fights? How, why should Adrian Broner get Manny Pacquiao? He didn't deserve it. Why should Adrian Broner get all this money? He didn't deserve it. Let me tell y'all something, guys. If you guys haven't realized this, and now... PBC, Al Heyman, Leonard Ellaby, and the rest of them are starting to realize it. Adrian Broner is the biggest star in boxing. Now, y'all Carnelo fans, y'all heavyweight fans, listen. Carnelo does his thing. Yes, the heavyweights, they do their thing um, expected. But apart from that, Adrian Broner is the biggest draw in boxing. You know what I'm saying? When AB comes out, the whole fucking press comes out. Media that hasn't covered fight for years comes out. Everybody's coming out to see AB. You know what I'm saying? PBC and them have realized that Adrian Broner is the moneymaker and they are pushing this man. If you watch the um, press conferences and the interviews now from this fight, you get a whole different side of Leonard Ellaby. Leonard Ellaby is saying AB is the next pay-per-view star. AB is the next pay-per-view star. Now, I think that we tend to forget how young Adrian Broner is because I've been saying this for a while. I think that Adrian Broner will have a second win in his career and he will be um, good again. That's just my press. I never thought that he wasn't good, but you know, he had got um really got his shit fucked up by um excuse my language, really got his shit twisted by Madonna. And I think it kinda it messed his head up. And you know what I mean? He just got in that shell up mode, stopped him from throwing his hands. But I do think that Adrian Broner will get a second win in his career. And I'm going on record at Real Life Box. I'm telling all of you guys this right now. You guys hear me out when I say this, okay? I'm telling you guys this right now. All right? Like I said, 2018. If Adrian Broner in Manny Pacquiao's fight, Manny Pacquiao's fight is anywhere near close. What I mean by close is it can it be considered a draw? No, I don't like talking boxing politics, but since Politics is always going around in boxing, and it's not going to be any different for this fight. I got to talk about it. The politics are, if this fight goes 12 rounds, and it is anywhere near close. Close means, can it be a draw? Can either fighter have won? Um, now, I mean close like what you guys called Tony Harrison and Jamel Charlo, because I thought J Jamel Charlo won by a few rounds. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, some people thought it was close. So, in the terms of close... If this fight is anywhere near close, mark my MFing words. Adrian Broner is going to win a decision. Now, this is not my fight breakdown. Or this is not my um This is not my um my my thoughts or you know my who's gonna win my fight. This is not it. I'm just telling you guys that 
if this fight goes to 12 rounds and Manny Pacquiao does not completely put a whipping on Adrian Broner, if it's anywhere near close, Adrian Broner is going to win this fight. You guys, mark my words. I'm going on record. It's nothing personal. It's business. It's real life boxing. Um, you guys hit the like button. Subscribe if you haven't. Leave some comments. Tell me what y'all think. I'm not going to do my fight. Um... <laughs> My 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 fight analysis now and my fight pick and who's gonna win. I'm gonna do that in another video. But I'm telling you guys right now that if in in, in politics, all right, if this fight goes the distance, if the fight goes the distance and it is anywhere near close, I mean, if Benny Pacquiao does not simply whip Adrian Broner, which I don't think that he's gonna do, I'm telling you that Adrian Broner is going to win the fight. Now, Roy Jones did an interview with Hype Fight, with Fight Hype yesterday about, um, you know, what he thought. And Roy, Roy, Roy said he gave Adrian Broner a chance because of the way Adrian Broner fights, his style. He said his style is very similar to Floyd, and Floyd beat Pacquiao really easy. So if AB can... um can implement what Floyd did, he should be able to beat Manny. Now, a lot of people come in the fan section, a lot of people come in the comments and say, oh my God, how can you say that? AB fights nothing like Floyd. Da -da 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 -da. Now, I think the same thing. I don't think that Adrian Brona, I mean, that Manny Pacquiao is going to be able to put a whipping on Adrian Brona just because of the way that they both fight. You know what I'm saying? AB style and, you know, fans be don't 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 be moronic when we say that ab fights similar to floyd we're not saying that ab fights exactly like floyd obviously he doesn't do anything as good as floyd does but the style all right many pacquiao i mean adrian broner he doesn't have to punch you know he doesn't have to punch a million times like many pacquiao he has to have good defense he has to have good um counter punching and he has good time and he has to do it with good speed and good power but that's um for another video anyway i'm telling you guys do you guys remember this shit huh you do you guys remember this and i know all y'all against me him right here later against me they 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 with this bitch ass nigga Leonard a bitch ass nigga too the energy the energy for this fight between adrian brona Leonard Ellaby has been completely different. I did a video a um, couple months ago. Has Adrian Broner finally matured? You guys could go back and look at that video. Has Adrian Broner matured? I'm going on record. If the fight is anywhere near close, Adrian Broner wins the decision. PBC is pushing out. Um, PBC and Al Heyman, they're pushing Adrian Broner. They realize that Adrian Broner is the cash cow. He's not Mexican food. He's not a gatekeeper. Hit the like button and subscribe, baby. It's real life boxing. It's fight week this week. Let's get it.